Good morning, my name is uh, Mark Levy and uh, we're here this morning to speak about servicing von Stahls. Um, most of you have seen the videos that were prepared by von Stahl and uh, we're not interested in repeating that. Uh, we're going to go to the next level and try and service that part, show you how to service that part of the reel that the factory videos don't address. Uh, the reason why is to prevent water intrusion into the reel. The factory self-service kit addresses the problem of the seal on the end of the uh, handle shaft. So there's a, there's a seal in there that they replace. And then there's a seal, an O-ring in the side cover that they replace. And there's the quad seal which protects the shaft which is inside of uh, the sleeve guide which is right in here that they replace. All those seals are to prevent water from coming into the internal environment of the real case. Uh, there are a lot of discussion about von Stahl's being sealed and uh, in my opinion, and there are people who have other opinions, but in my opinion the reel is not sealed. Water is able to get into the reel and in fact does. Uh, what the seal system that the reel uses does is try and keep that water intrusion to a minimum. Uh, one of the places that water can enter is the main seal, which uh, can't be replaced using the factory kit as it stands now. So what I'm going to do first is to show you how to get that main seal out and then we'll talk about the tools necessary in order to accomplish that. The first thing we want to do is take the flyer off which uses uh, four small button head screws and this is simply a, uh, a Dubro Allen key which is readily available everywhere. Take the handle off, use the self-service uh, wrench, take off the side cover. There are no guts in this reel. This reel, by the way, is made of uh, parts fellows have given me over time and I, I use it for instructional purposes. And as you can see, uh, the guts have already been removed. Uh, and we see uh, the pinion assembly or pinion gear on the sleeve guide uh, which is what we're going to remove. We'll take the rest the screws out remove the flyer. The first thing we want to do is remove the split ring. This is a, a, an actual factory tool that I was able to get off of eBay uh, several years ago. Uh, the problem with it is, is it only fits the 150. Uh, there's another one for the 250 and, and one for the 300. And in order to remove the pinion assembly, the sleeve guide, you need to have uh, this this threaded ring removed and this wasn't available to me to the larger for the larger sizes. Uh, last year I discovered these tools from a uh, watch repair supply and uh, what it does is enable you to take out the threaded ring. And if you'll give me a moment I'll loosen it up. All you have to do is loosen it a notch. Uh, it comes in two models and either one is good. These are 10 bucks and they're readily available from watch repair supplies. Once you have the, the ring loose, you can unthread it. And that comes out and that's what retains the assembly we're trying to get at, uh, which is the pinion assembly, uh, sleeve guide, main seal and main seal carrier. Uh, it's been suggested that you should put a screwdriver in here. I read this on the net once that you can put a screwdriver in here and kind of wedge it out. And I would tell you you don't want to do that because you'll be 
using this block of aluminum as uh, a wedge point, if you will, and it's soft and it will bend. So what we do is we take the flyer assembly and use it as a wrench. You put that back on and put in a couple of screws that you've removed. And you don't have to put in all four, you can put in two. Lightly pull, and there's the assembly. This is the sleeve guide, pinion, main seal and main seal carry and main bearing. Here's the bearing and here's the, uh, the carry. Now in order to get this off, you have to get the pinion off. The pinion here is reverse threaded onto this assembly. I have one without the pinion on. This one's out of a uh, 200 series and you can see the threads on the shaft. And this is known as a sleeve guide. And you can actually see this stainless collar that's the sleeve. So what we're going to do is remove that pinion which requires the manufacturer, you're building uh, a homemade tool which is really what we're trying to show you today. Uh, this is the one for the 150 size. We're going to mount this in what I refer to as an immobilizer which is keyed to the assembly and we're going to take uh, this homemade tool, place it down over the sleeve guide, fit that into a press. And once everything is mounted, it's just a simple matter of giving about a quarter turn. That'll loosen up the pinion. That was bad. This is reverse thread. And now the pinion's been removed. And we're looking at the sleeve guide, main bearing. This is what I refer to as a press plate. It's another item you can pick off of eBay. It's really inexpensive, about 20 bucks. You never want to bang on uh, the brass sleeve guide. So use a little piece of soft nylon. This is your bearing. You can check it. This one feels fine and it's really old. This is the sleeve guide pinion assembly and this is the main seal carrier. And if you notice that black inner ring, that's the main seal which we're going to replace. It simply pops out. It's the same type of seal that you find in the, uh, the self-service kit that goes on the side cover. And there's also an O-ring around the outside of the carrier. Now the purpose of replacing this is to keep salt water from intruding into the reel from the front. The more salt water you can keep out of the reel, the better off you are. These are wiper seals and they wear. Uh, imagine, if you will, that it's suggested that we change the handle seal and that's because the main gear rotates every time we crank the handle and wears that seal. And what we're trying to do is prevent oil from coming in from the side. 